there's only one person that I would stay up all night, catch two flights, and go straight to the bins with on no sleep. And that's you, Tata. It's you, Tata. <laughs> it's dark and it's freezing, but I'm on my way to the airport. Take two. Tuck them in, Tata. I'm on my way. Spent 60 bucks. Here's my damage, just one bag. So, only 15 pounds. Tata did some damage, found some really good stuff. Are you excited? Yeah, we hit it hard. Very first stop. What's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. Welcome, <laughs> in my non-Jack and Ryan voice, to um, episode two, episode two of my thrifting in Boston with Lori Tata adventure. Today we are doing the bins haul. Today I'm showing you what I picked up at the bins in New Hampshire, straight off the plane. So Lori picked me up, blasting M&M's, guess who's back, back again, <laughs> blasting that at the airport, which was so freaking hysterical, and we went straight to New Hampshire bins, and I had not been to bed because I was on call for work till 11 the night before, stayed up all night, and went on no sleep, and it might have skewed my ability to thrift just a bit. I was mentally exhausted. I did not film at all while we were in there because I was dead tired, but I mean, I only had a certain amount of days and by golly, I was going to make the most of it. So yeah, we went to the bins in New Hampshire, picked up 15 pounds. So I'm going to show you that right now. Okay. So if you're not familiar with the bins is, uh, it is the Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound. I do not remember the pay by the pound price. Sorry. This is a Lori and I signature drink, although mine's looking a little light. This is the gray area. It's looking a little green. <laughs> so, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Stupid phone. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Lori and I did a live and explained our, our drink concoction that we came up with while I was there. So, so the bins is you pay by the pound. And I don't know how much the New Hampshire Benz charges per by the pound. I know I spent $22. So 15 pounds plus $22. All you math whizzes out there, go ahead and figure that out. <laughs> so I got a few things. Not a ton, but I got a few things. So I thought we'll start off. I'm going to do all my hauls as in day one, day two, day three, day four. So... That is how I'm formatting my hauls. My hair is so big. That's okay. They care. Don't care. <laughs> this is Mighty Fine, size medium. It says, this ain't my first rodeo. I mean, I had to, right? I had to. So, I hope you can see it okay. I adjusted the settings on my camera to, like, zoom in. But now I'm afraid it might be too close. So, let me know in the comments if it's too close. So size medium. Yeah, it just says this ain't my first rodeo. I thought it was really cute. It's like almost like a acid wash color. Really cute. I picked up this Porsche 
hat. Not because I love selling mints, because we all know I don't, but I know that like the avid car collector out there loves his porch mer merch. <laughs> and yeah, just a really, it's in really good condition. Porsche hat. That's expensive. <laughs> um, I picked up two of these and they've already sold. <laughs> I just had to get the haul video film. Dollar Dr. Jennifer, who also has a YouTube channel, she was watching the live and she seen these and was like, yes, girl. And when I seen them at the bins, I thought of her. Because um, she is a veterinarian and she loves animals. So these are 3X. They are the mountain and they are cat shirts. So this one is like a cat, just a cat and it's supposed to be like in denim bibs. The mountain is a great little t-shirt brand and their graphics especially the ones with the wolf on them and if you could find the ones with like the hidden faces the hidden wolf faces those are really good um yeah the mountain 100 percent cotton this is what the label looks like this one is a mouse and a kitty like the kitty is on the mouse Wait, the kitty is not on the mouse, but you know what I mean. The mouse is teasing the kitten. So, super cute. That lighting. I'm really washed out. Sorry, guys. I haven't filmed on this camera in what feels like a month, so my settings are all miscombobulated. So, yeah, those have already sold. I just have to collect the payment, send them off. <laughs> but I promised I'd film, that I'd sell them to her once I filmed the haul. This is a airy swim top. It's just a black bandeau top with these really cute sparkly gold straps. It's airy. It's from 3 of 2020, so it's a new piece. So hopefully I can find a little stock photo of this. And it's a size small. And it's got a really cute texture. And it's padded, so yay! Pick up anything lightweight, and then, and that was my goal that day was just like don't get anything too heavy or too large because this is day one and you've got to get all this stuff home, which I did do in three suitcases. <laughs> so luckily, with Southwest, which is why I fly with them, your two bags. 50 pounds fly free. So, this is Lucky Brand, which it's embroidered and it's like an oatmeal sweater with drawstrings. Drawstrings? Drawstrings. Really cute sweater. I feel it's got a kangaroo pocket in the front. I feel like I'm really hidden by these clothes and maybe I should unzoom a bit. Let me unzoom a bit, guys. Then you can really see my mess behind me, but I'll be, I'm happy to report that all of this is photographed and half of it is already listed. And this is all the crap that I was working on before I left, but I have a, a assistant who comes once a week now and gosh, I'm getting a lot done. <laughs> this is my favorite. It's, it's chunky and big. Well, not big, but you know, but it's leopard print. I couldn't leave it. It's airy. It's a leopard print sweater. Just a crew neck. Really chunky knit. So cute. So that's an easy 25, 30 bucks. It's the bins. Uh, picked up some hot socks. They have little birds on them, like love birds. So I don't usually sell socks individually, but maybe like around Valentine's Day, if something sells, I might throw those in as a free gift. I do that sometimes with bundles. Um, or my kids, you know, they're always like, Mom, I can't find any matching socks. <laughs> so this is Moo Moo, but not Mew Mew. It's Moi Moi, I have no idea. It's made in Korea. I'm, I'm butchering that pronunciation. But when I found this at the bins, I, let me tie it. 
I was like, Lori, I think I found something good. She's like, did you? And then she came over and burst in my bubble and was like, mm, no, sis, I think it's spelled the opposite way. The I in front of the U instead of the U in front of the I. So this says, wom wom or whatever, but it's a, just a gray sweater with this fun little, I mean, it's kind of like a Popeye moment, like a sailor with a little tie bow. It's a cute sweater. It's not an expensive sweater. It's probably just a boutique, but grab that. Lori's been tall. It's already out. It is by far better than mine. So she was just finding things one after the other. And I was like, my God, what are you, a magnet? But like I said, I was so groggy. I wasn't on my game. But I picked up momentum towards the end of the, of the thrift trip. This is Ocean Drive. And it's just this like slub knit, super lightweight hooded. Sweater it says Ocean City, 1879, New Jersey. It's cute. I thought about keeping it for myself. Um, but it's a medium, which I could probably fit. I haven't tried it on though. But it's that very like slubby, stretchy, marl knit material, and I loved it. These are Athleta, uh, size medium. This is the Athleta tag. They're just a black. three-fourths crop, but it's like leopard print, and it has like eyelet cutouts at the bottom. These are like in brand new condition, and it also has like the eyelet like venting in the back. They're like brand new, and I'll pick up Athleta at the bin, bins all day long. And there were so many things that I passed on, just because it was my first day. I was sleep deprived and I didn't know how much more I was going to end up getting. <laughs> so I was a little cautious, but if it would have been my bins, absolutely I would have picked up 100 pounds easily. This is Altered State, size seven. They're just jean shorts, but they're distressed, high rise. Cute little jean shorts, so I need to get those listed ASAP. This is a bodysuit. It's Gap, but it's new with tag. And bodysuits are all the rage. So, Gap, new with tag. And it's like an orange, corally orange, and blue striped bodysuit. It's looking really psychedelic on the camera. But that'll be perfect for like 4th of July. It's, it's not like a red, it's like a muted orangey red. These are Gap. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so cute. I couldn't leave them. <laughs> they're the they're a size four or twenty seven petite. They're a high rise wide leg crop. They were just so cute. I I couldn't leave them. I did. There was another Gap that I had and I handed it to Lori because they were so cute too. But for weight purposes, so high rise wide leg crop. So wide leg crop jeans, high rise, so cute. They're in like brand new condition. Like these with that bodysuit, so cute. This is a really cute Hawaiian shirt I got and I thought it had stains, but it doesn't. It's actually like the different floral patterns. Some lady came up to me at the bed and was like, oh, that's really good. And I was like, oh, it is, yay. So it's Campia Moda. I think it's Campia Moda. I'll show you. It's 100% rayon made in Korea. There might be a little discoloration around the neck. It's really hard to tell with the peach tones of the shirt. But that's the label. And it has like pinup women all over it. So can you see all the different ladies in their pinup poses? It's really, really stunning. So I'm really excited to like put it into Google Lens and look it up and see if I could find 
any information on it. Next, I found the bottom, and Lori found the top. Either way, <laughs> one of us came home with it. It's just Zaffle, but the print was so cute. It's just a bandeau top, and it's so lightweight at the bends. And then the bottom is very, very cheeky. Like this is the front and all the bootes and exposed in the back. But it's a bikini. It's almost summer. I'm selling bathing suits like crazy. I think I sold, well, I say like crazy, but I sold like two in one day. <laughs> is that like crazy? Or is that just me being extra? Um, These are American Eagle. I never can say no to American Eagle at the bins. So these are a high rise jagging and they're a size four short. So special sizes and they're black. Special sizes do okay for me. I sell a lot of petite, short, long, and it's an easy $25. This is Prana. Prana size medium. It is just a outdoor active shirt. It's got a little bit of tie-dye at the neckline. It's long sleeve but thin striped. Prana is a very well-known outdoor brand. Okay this is a shirt that says Crybaby. It's a graphic tee. Crybaby Universal Studios. I don't see a date on it. But this is the back. The drapes. Crybaby. I'm just going to need all of your expertise because I have no idea who this is or what this is. But it was a graphic tee, so I grabbed it. Also grabbed a Metallica tee at the bins. My daughter already has it up in her room. <laughs> I grabbed a pair of the Family Guy um, pajamas, pants. My daughter already has those in her room. And there was something, oh, a Friends sweatshirt. It was red and had a Christmas scene on it. My daughter also has that in her room. So my haul's a little light. <laughs> um, and I didn't really want to go chase around all the things that they already took. But those are the things that I'm missing. These are Athleta as well, size medium. And these, this is the Athleta symbol, in case you don't know, are like sparkly tights. Well, leggings. Super, super sparkly tights by Athleta. Really thick, so. This is a Brandy Melville. There's no size because she doesn't do that but it's like just a cropped rain jacket all black very you know trends trendy amongst the kids this is a vintage as how do you say this esprit esprit i have no idea Esprit? Esprit? I have no clue. It's a little cinched vintage bag. Like a drawstring nap, nappy bag. Yeah, this is a little carpet bag. This is so cute. It's called Clothworks and it's made in Wells, Maine. Specializing in tapestry bags. Joyce Bagshaw Designs. So, I just thought it was really cute. And tapestry bags are, are kind of popular. So I grabbed it. I got these gloves simply because they are so stinking cute. I couldn't leave them. So they have the little fingers and then the little thing goes over. I couldn't leave them. I don't know the brand, but they're like super thick. Oh, here's the brand. Mexicala, Mexicala Blues, Maine, USA. So it's probably 100% wool, hand knitted in Nepal. So it's probably a, a brand in, it's like local to Maine, which would make sense. Um, 
but they're so cute. And last but not least, besides the few things that I'm missing that my kids have already taken, <laughs> are these Madewell shorts. These are the high-rise denim shorts in a 26. They're black. Excellent condition. I couldn't say no. So that is the 15 pounds I got at the bins. Um, one bad. One bad. I'm definitely going to make a, a, a decent amount of money on this stuff once I get it listed. So that was it. Day one in the books. Like, I know when we left here, I was like, oh my god, I'm so tired. I was wiped out. But I trooper through, and there's nothing better than being at the bins with a friend. But Lori killed it this day. But don't worry. I came for her a little bit later. <laughs> a little bit later in the trip. I got her. I mean, I caught up to her. Didn't I didn't come for her. Because when you're friends, there's no competition. But I picked up my momentum. This day, I was like in outer space. But it was still a great binge trip nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoyed what I seeing. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up at the bins in New Hampshire when I was with Lori. I'll see you in my next one. And surprise, it'll it'll be another haul. It'll be day two. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah!